Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Oh my god, I had a haircut. There's less hair there than there was before. Holy shit. Anyway, okay. Right, new video for you today. Um, before I get into the title, the topic of the title, the title that is above my head, um, I have a little announcement to make, right? Um, do I have any followers from Glasgow that are going to be attending um, Collector Mania uh, this weekend? And um, that's the weekend of, hold on, I better check, fuck me. The week, next weekend, that's the 25th and the 26th of August. And um, basically there's going to be this convention. A I actually know very little about it, but a friend's invited me. And I really like the sound of it. I'm like, hi man, I'll, I'll go with you. Now, I'm only going to be, I'll put a link in the description about the event and all that for, you know, you, if, if I've got any Glasgow followers that are maybe interested. I'm only going to be there on the um, the Sunday, because it's on the Saturday and the Sunday, so if any of you are, can make it on the Sunday, you know, by all means, comment and let me know, send, and, you know, just let me know that you'll be there so we can say hi and that, you know, I'd be very interested in uh, seeing you all there, but um, yeah, just, just throwing that out there again, I'll put a link in the description to the event's website, I hope you can make it. Right, now, this video is a response to my good buddy, uh, AntDude92. Um, he recently made a top 10 of his top 10 of his most anticipated games of 2012. Now, I was talking to him about it and I was like, yeah, I think I might make a response, but proving so was actually pretty tough because there is very, very few games coming out this year that I'm particularly excited about. You know, you compare it to 2013, 2013 is already looking better than uh, 2012, at least in my eyes, so... But I managed to scrape together 10 games here, and I'm gonna discuss them, so here we go. Right, number 10 is gonna be Darksiders 2. Now, I don't know where I stand on the original Darksiders, okay? When I first got it and I first played it, I actually really liked it, you know? It was a big Zelda clone, and it did borrow a lot from all other types of games, you know? And when I finished it, I sort of thought to myself, you know what, that actually wasn't that good, was it? You know, um, because again, I didn't really like the controls and whatnot. But in any case, the sequel—I've been looking at footage for that, and it actually looks really, really good. I think. Um, yeah, I don't actually know too much about it, but if they've really taken fan feedback into consideration and they apply the changes here, then this game will be amazing. I think. And, you know, so I'll probably pick number two. It's out like in less than a week from now, actually. So very, very soon that one. So yeah. Darksiders 2 is number 10, and yes, I have a list here. Uh, number 9 is a little game that's kind of... Nobody's talking about it, and it's kind of just out there. It's by um, Miss America, and it's called um, Legasista. I hope I'm saying that right. This looks like a sort of 2D overhead dungeon crawler, and that's literally all I know about it. Um, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of um, Nipponichi, or Miss America, but... I think this game looks quite promising, you know? Um, I definitely have my eye on it, and I'm going to be checking it out. It's out very soon as well, actually. A lot of these games are, in fact. So, yeah. Like a sister, number nine. Um, number eight is Paper Mario 3D. Um, I can't remember the subtitle for this. Um, the reason this is so low on the list, because I actually adore all the Paper Mario games, I don't really like how different this one's looking. Um... You know, like, it seems to be going less and less away from the JRPG genre, or the RPG genre, I should say. Um, you could say the same thing for Super Paper Mario on the Wii, but this one seems to be even a bigger departure, because uh, one thing I know is that you don't get XP from battles, and you can only attack enemies with stickers that you collect in the world, which... And I keep thinking to myself, what if I want to do a... Well, actually, okay, you can't do a grinding session because you don't get XP, but... I don't know, it just seems really weird that they're omitting stuff like RPG 101 elements from this game. So that just has me a bit apprehensive. Obviously I'm going to reserve my judgement until uh, the full game comes out, but for the time being, it's it's an it's a relatively low number 8 on my most hyped lists. You know, it's a Paper Mario game, I'm sure it will be good whatever, it, what it, however it plays, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, number 7 is... is... I don't have an... Oh, there it is. Hitman... I've forgotten the subtitle of this one as well, but yeah, the new Hitman game. <laughs> I really suck at this. 
you can tell I'm really hyped for these games, can't you? But yeah, um, I've never played a Hitman game extensively. I've played like them in very small portions, like I played a little bit of Blood Money, I played a little bit of Hitman 2, and the first one actually. I've got them all on Steam, in fact. I've not played any of them extensively yet. But this one looks really good. I, um, a lot, I've heard a lot of fans have sort of been um, crying sour. Uh, the fact that it looks like it's going to be more action-packed than, um, you know, the previous installments, which is kind of the case of all games these days, sadly. But, in any case, I, I still think it looks really good, you know. Um, it'll probably be a day one purchase for me on Steam, so yeah. Hitman. Something something. Can't remember the subtitle. Anyway. Number six, we have, um, uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Um, that's actually the sequel, I talked about this in my previous video, that's the sequel to 999. By the way guys, that last video I did talking about the um, PS Vita games and how I love the PS Vita being region locked, did you know that almost, that I'm not exaggerating this at all, almost the exact same hour I upload that video, Rising Star Games announces that they're going to be publishing that game in Euro the European region. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But whatever, I'm happy the game is getting localized. Even though it's going to be weird because obviously not a lot of people over here will have played it. So picking up this game's... I don't know how much it's going to carry over from the last game, but it will be a bit weird for newcomers. Uh, but for guys like me who have played, obviously, we're like rubbing our hands. Can't wait to see what's in store for the rest of the characters. So, yeah. Um, Virtue's Last Reward, definitely number six. Um, for number five, we have... Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. I'm a... I'm actually kind of a moderate Layton fan. Not particularly hardcore about the series or anything. But for some reason I really want this one on 3DS. Even though I actually think this one's going to be worse. Because the puzzles are going to be certainly going to be weird. Because I don't know how much you utilize the, um, the touch screen. Which was a great thing about uh, the previous Layton games. You know, because obviously they want to show off the um, 3D effects and whatnot. But... What can I say? I'm... Um, I'm a sucker for these sort of adventure games, and I really like the puzzles that Professor Layton games, you know, give you. So I'm sure it will be good anyway. So yeah, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. I actually remember the subtitle of this one. Number five. Uh, for number four, we have Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed. I have no idea if that's the actual title. Maybe it's Sonic and Sega Racing Transformed or Sega Racing Transformed. I don't know the official title, but in any case, this game really seems to... You all know I was a big fan of the original, because I'm such a big SEGA fan, okay? This one really seems to address all the complaints that I had with that game. One is that it seems to be focusing more on obscure SEGA titles. You know, like, we've got a Panzer Dragoon level. We've got a friggin' um... Black, Skies of Arcadia level. We've got a friggin' uh, Golden Axe level. Joe Musashi is playable, as is Vice from Skies of Arcadia, you know? All of this other, like, brilliant SEGA fan service, you know, which wasn't really that present, especially when you compare it, it wasn't really that present in the first game. You know, the tracks were kind of shit, the selection of tracks, I should, I should say, were shit because they were all spread across the same themes and from the same games and whatnot, like, nine tracks were from Sonic Heroes, which was like, what? So yeah, this one, this really got me excited, I cannot wait for that one. Uh... It's the Sega fanboy in me screaming, but yeah. Sonic transformed that game, yeah. This is gonna, that's gonna be great. And uh, number three is um, quite something that's, again, this is kind of on my radar greatly for whatever reason, but it's Code of Princess for the 3DS. Now, I'm actually not sure if this is gonna be making a 2012 release in Europe. I know it is in, um, America, because there hasn't even been a publisher for Europe yet. Atlas is going to be doing it in uh, America. But it's de the developers have said that it's definitely coming here, so I'm excited. Um, because this is from the makers of Guardian Heroes, and you look at gameplay, it's exactly the friggin' same. And apparently this is going to be a more sort of like RPG focused with leveling up in that side-scrolling beat-em-up game. And I don't know, it's got me quite excited. I'm, I love these sort of like, um, seems very retro, and yeah. I'm really looking forward to that one. And number two, we have... Um, I'm surprised how high I've put this on the list, actually. Rayman Legends. Now, Rayman Origins was an amazing game. I loved it. But I was kind of pissed off when they announced Rayman Legends because I thought, wait a minute, 
What about Beyond Good and Evil 2? Because they promised to give us Beyond Good and Evil 2 if Rayman Origins sold enough. Which obviously it did sell enough because we're getting a sequel. But yeah, so I was a bit pissed off at that. But then I saw gameplay of it and I was like, holy crap, looks really fucking good. You know, utilizing the Wii U tablet and also that like really good level that they showed off with the music playing as you're platforming and it's just, like I don't know, it gets me every time. It just looks so good. And if the whole, the whole game is obviously not going to be like that, but if it was, I wouldn't mind at all. In fact, if the whole game was like that, it'd probably be number one on this list. But yeah, fucking Rayman Legends, I cannot wait for that. It may be the reason I get a Wii U at launch, but right now I'm sort of thinking I'll hold out till they release the PC or PS3 version, because that's probably what they'll do, you know. I don't think it's going to stay a Wii U exclusive for long, you know, it'll be a timed exclusive. But, we'll see, we'll see. And lastly, number one on my list, this is actually the reason I kind of put off putting this video for so long, because this is going to be really weird for everybody, but Tales of Grace is F. Why is this going to be weird for everybody? Because this is already out in America and it has been for months, but we're finally, finally getting it come the next... It's actually in about 10 days, it's really soon. Same day as, um... Same day as uh, Lega Sister, I believe, yeah. But yeah, massive Tales fan, as you all know, and I've, look I've been looking forward to this game for so long, I cannot friggin' wait to play it. It's going to be the happiest day of my life. Well, maybe not, but I'm going to be happy anyway, because, you know, just, again, big Tales fan. And the fact that we're getting Tales of Zillia in 2013 just sweetens the deal, really. You know, I can't wait to pick up all these games. So, yeah, that's that, guys. Um, what are you? Have I missed out anything? Uh, what are your most anticipated games from now till the end of the year? It really doesn't look that good to me, but I could be wrong. You never know. Some games might get pushed forward. Um, but, yeah, that's that, so... See you after. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.